most of our input content counts. You know, I was, I'm really happy with it, and I think it really showcases exactly what Karate Cuts does live. It was a difficult season to do, because, you know, you, you didn't want to come across playing too overground and too many obvious tunes that have, everyone's heard, and it's just like, you know, so you, I had to have, stick in a, an, an air of credibility to it, and that did make it more difficult, because sometimes I just like to go, oh, I'll do this and be crazy and get a record that is so obvious and people think wow but I bet he's done something strange with it and that's obviously what I couldn't do because I wanted to keep the, the, the kind of you know style of the fabric CDs to a certain level. <laughs> I mean, but that happened, and the freestylers and there they go thing happened when I was in my front room, and I just got them, and I thought, oh, I always love that Jay Jackson record, and it just popped up in my head one day, and I thought of that, ding, 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 the wicked funky jazz loop, and I thought, I know something that might go on that one in the front, and I thought, bang, that's it, that's got to go on the CD, and then the same with the there they go, the there they go and the freestylers in love with you, it's like the two records are made for each other. They fit like a glove, they drop at the same time, they come in together at the same time, and all different things. You have, once you hear it, you'll understand exactly what I said, and you've heard it. And it, it was like, it's like a dream come true. It's like, bang, just watch these go, and, they, and there they go. The other night I got um, that switch track, a bit patchy, and that's all about uh, an old Apache record of old fun. And I've done my own version of it called A Bit Crafty, and it's just, it's really good. I've got the ding, 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 that bit, and it goes ding, 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 and it plays a different melody, and you recognise it straight away. And all I've done was just change two notes, and it's actually really good. And then I haven't fattened it up. I've just and I played a different bass line in it. I'll drop it tonight, see how it works. But it, it sounded really good. So it's just doing things like that, and having that loads of different tools to ignite, you know. Mass fury on the dance floor. from day one always played records that are either funky or people just go what is this record what is this record and that's what I look to achieve every time I play record I just want to you know see that excitement on people's faces or make people go, go nuts and I suppose I'm just more of an upbeat excitable person so it reflects in my music and obviously you know that's why I play more party sort of music I, I, in some respects I don't like the term party because I, I, th I don't really know exactly if you'd say party was, was you know, big happy music or cheesy music, I, I suppose I am on about rocking a party, 
you know, going in there and people were like, this is, this is shit, this is exactly what I came to pay my money for a good night out. And I, I love it. I know as soon as I stop loving it, then I'll stop DJing. Really. I mean, you know, people when I play the songs out, and I'm not one of these guys who plays his own records all the time. You know, I mix everyone else's stuff in there. And when I do play one of my tracks, they re everyone seems to respond really well. And I've remixed a couple of them that like, are my own personal versions of Freak Show and Bass Phenomenon. I've got VIP mix, and um, yeah, they just they just it's just worked really well. And I'm really really happy with the with the outcome and the response and. Um, I suppose, you know, you put the hard work in and you get it back. So it's just really good. <laughs> shows to take it up a little level so in certain places basically hip-hop breakbeat drum and bass what I love what I'm all about from day one even, even to a certain degree to what I do in, in shorter sets because it's four hours um, and that gives me the scope to be a bit more adventurous and uh, start hip-hop move into breaks it's predominantly gonna be your breaks mostly three hours just an hour of hip-hop and drum and bass thrown in and um, I think it's, it's, it's they're exciting forms of music and if they're done really well, it can capture a good evening. And a good evening with Crafty Cuts is what I want to achieve with those styles of music. It's going to take a lot of hard work. I'm going to go through my whole record collection, fatten tunes up, get uh, instrumentals, acapellas, and work on a set that's aimed to make people dance. <laughs> All I want to do is entertain and please people and that's what I'm about.